Welcome back again to Evolution Snowboarding. This time we're taking on the second to last level. We're getting down there. We're getting there to the end of the game. With me this time, along with Playtester, who, uh... I'm a little catatonic. Who's a little catatonic right now. We've got Matt Rocks, Blackout the M.M. Yep. What, M &M. All, that, whatever, we're all in this together. We are, we are all one big family together now. Yeah. Watching oh you spend points on defense. Mm. Yep. And, oh, can't buy anything more. I got 102,000 points, but inflation's going up. <laughs> points are worthless. Points are worthless. Oh, that's right. We're going to Battlefront. Battlefront. You walk in, you buy a cup of coffee, it's 100,000 points. You buy another cup, it's 500,000 points. <laughs> you know would be oh, great. Battlefront. Oh, Star Wars made a game off of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did. There was a spin off game set in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, remember, um... Crossover. Oh, man, I remember in, in Star Wars Battlefront, based off this level, when you could snowboard around while shooting stormtroopers. That was a good game. Yeah. yeah. No, but, guys, you know what make a great level for this? Oh, I just thought of this. Remember in Batman Begins, there's that big temple up on top of the mountain? Yes. What if you snowboarded through that, and uh, fighting all these ninjas, and then you just went down the mountain with them chasing? That sounds like that'd be a much better game, but unfortunately that's not what we have. Batman crossover. Yeah, yeah. Batman. Armada. Evolution Batman Snowboarding 2 featuring Batman. <laughs> wow. Now, now something I featuring noticed DC is when we were on the metal thing, it had like this weird spark off of it. Is your board made of metal? Uh. Otherwise, why? It's is made it of sparking? flint. <laughs> yeah, it's made of flint. Yeah. <laughs> we're starting fires. Yeah. We're a fire starter. You know, to yeah. be honest, uh, it would actually be cool if it was just featuring DC Universe, the sequel to this. Oh man, and this it, game has so much every level. Really Why would there ever be a DC Universe snowboarding game? That would be I don't awesome! Know. Dude, they made know, a DC oh. Universe online game. Why not snowboarding? Uh, that's an MMO where you play superheroes beating Yeah, I know, but like, so, humor me. That's like, just normal superhero shit. Uh, just imagine all the theme levels that you could have. Like, uh, you could have, um... What? Fortress of Solitude. But it wouldn't what? fit. It wouldn't fit at all. Well, you wouldn't even be playing as the this? super. You wouldn't even be playing. Yeah, as you're the, in a war zone, brother. You wouldn't be playing as the superheroes though. You'd be playing as these snowboarders <laughs> going through that environment. Jesus, you can't even spawn. You just keep falling over. That's... This level looks like a pain in the ass. Yeah, welcome to the hell. So you want to comment on how good a level this is? War, war is hell. War never changes. I've seen boys go to war and come back as men. I've seen boys go to war and end up as graves. Wow. War. <laughs> what is it good for? That was dark. Deep, deep shit. Yeah. Peter Line. Peter Line. He's seen more than his fair share of war. Damn. He's like a commander. Really? Commander Peter commander Line. Line. Peter yeah, Line. Commander Line. Yeah. Damn. In this battlefield. Sorry. In this battlefront. Yeah. In this Battel front, Battel front, yeah. there is only good and death. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just love how your game just comes to a crawl every time the uh, the helicopter. Pulls yeah, up. it's just yeah. like I can't handle the awesome. You know, it's like, it's, so it's damn like slow much. motion. It's really it's supposed to be cool. I think now. It's yeah. like the yeah. um, it's like the turrets all over again. Oh shit! Yeah, it's just slow. Oh shit! <gasps> you watched that video? Yeah, I caught up. Why, why is your jaw dropped? And I love that grab and surprise. throw. Remember, this fuckface doesn't watch any of our videos <laughs> that he's not, not in. Oh, wait. No, you're mixing him and Tinker up. Tinker doesn't watch any of the videos. <laughs> Tinker doesn't want Unless anything to do with my videos <laughs> anymore. True. So to the guy who asked, like, literally yesterday if we could have a debate series with Tinker. Oh, I'd love to do that. Uh, yeah, I'd love to as well, but because we actually have very different viewpoints on some things. Return of some the things were, were, were the same, but I feel like the only way you could get into bait series is if I like bring one of those pocket audio recorders and I just <laughs> stick him. it in my pocket. <laughs> and oh start right, talking to Tim. you get to that. Yeah, we just covertly debate him. <laughs> right, you yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't take the instead of undercover. <laughs> So, <laughs> hi, Tinker, would you like to have a debate with me? Get yeah. out of my face. I am absolutely Why not... Why are you calling me Tinker? <laughs> what are you exactly. doing? Exactly. 
<laughs> you get stepped off immediately. <laughs> oh, no Can reason. Can you just speak very clearly into my tie clip? <laughs> Can you just hold, lean hold down on, guys, I'll and talk back. in my pocket? Hey guys, this is in setting 47. Uh, this is going to be my debate with Tinker. Uh, what are you saying? In setting undercover. I, I, can, I can hear you. <laughs> That's an awful tank oh. impression. All right. Is so at the end of this level, you? at the end of this level, there's <laughs> tanks shooting you. So it's another section where you can't avoid the bullets. That's so stupid. Whoa, wait. Why is that stupid? It's just that's just irritating. Like to be going through a like a level and you can't avoid the projectile attacks. Like I hate yeah. that. That is my number one pet peeve in playing video games. And then it's gonna games. take off like half of your health on a good day. Well, I think you can avoid them, can you? Yeah, you probably can avoid them if you're really lucky. If you're like, yeah, lucky. But that's not a problem with the fact that they're tanks. No. I mean, you no. said, is that a tank? That's so stupid, as though... No, you responded to what I said. Oh, okay. The whole yeah. thing. No, I don't care if it's a tank. I mean, that's pretty cool that there's I, a tank. I thought you were saying that it was stupid that they had a tank, because I was like, that kind of fits the theme, but... Yeah. yeah, this is a battlefront. So, fan. um, guys, so the the tropics have frozen over, right? So, what part of the tropics are we in now? Uh, the area with a lot of cliffs. <laughs> so, I'm guessing I don't know the Andes Mountains. All right, it's kind of not really the tropics. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. Yeah. The tropical Andes Mountains. It's, Mountain. not, <laughs> it's not like the Andes Mountains are everywhere. Oh, that like that would drive me nuts. Like trying to play this because this looks like it's the most. Oh, that looks like a sack of dicks. Yeah, and maybe you just have to They'll... be going fast enough to outrun them. It seems like. But oh. the second you get hit, exactly. Well, you get That's what I meant. Like you'd have to avoid that first shot. Well, they're not coming from I behind mean, you or in front of like, you. They're coming from the side. Like, yeah, I know. So go fast enough so they miss. The right. mines are okay because you can see them blinking in front of you. Now you can't see very far in front of you, but you can dodge them. This was my first time going through the level. I have less and less trouble with those mines as the video goes along. But the bullets still get me every time. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, I think it's a neat touch that, like, they're parachuting down. Yeah, yeah. yeah I that's like kinda that. cool. And this is so... Also, these people look exactly like, uh, one of the gangs from Tokyo Tribe, too. Uh, there's one gang that wore like gas masks and they wore like those type of. Yeah, I think I know. What you, I think I remember what you're talking about. I don't even know what game you're talking about. I'm not talking about a game. I'm I talking, about, about, oh. talking about anime. They look exactly then I like. I don't them. know what you were talking about. I thought you were talking about like Jet Set Radio or something. Like, you definitely didn't guess. say Jet Set Radio. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that could have been well, whatever. Just when you when you're editing this together, you're gonna be like, "What the hell was I talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> he very clearly said Tokyo Tribe Two. Well, maybe he was thinking of Whatever. like. It was a dumb. It was a dumb observation. It's uh -oh. Rick McCrank. Who's the turn. boss? Stop, most honored sir. Your bravery in action has caused us to suffer heavy casualties. To show our loyalty to the organization and for the sake of the peaceful repose of the souls of our comrades, I will send your brave soul on an express train to hell. Welcome to die. Yeah, welcome to die. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's his name? His name? You want to know his name? Instill it. It's Battalion. How is he Battalion? He's a single person. Well, he's so no, wait, we he's are like, Legion! Battalion. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, we are he's... Legion, we are many. That's what he is. <laughs> yeah. An army. I, that's weird. Yeah. If this level weren't so freaking dark, you could see him, but he's like, he's Boomer Part 2. He's a huge dude with an even bigger minigun. He doesn't have a... Oh, it's no, not Rob Liefeld with an electric so gas-powered minigun. Could be. I'm gonna be honest, though, no, none of the bosses I've seen so far have quite topped the chainsaw guy. Yeah, the first boss? Yeah. yeah. None he of them skinned have topped our ass raw. boss so far. They kind, of, they kind of threw the best out first. This guy's holding a minigun in one arm. <laughs> No, his He's arm holding a minigun in one arm, and then when he gets close, grabbing yeah. you and, like, just punching you. Yeah. In, in Evo Snow High School, if Boomer was the really strict math teacher, this guy would be, like, the gym teacher. <laughs> I didn't think the bosses would be teachers. I thought they'd be, like, other students. No, I could see sure? them being the teachers. Yeah, I thought it'd be, like, right now. Rick McCrank is the new kid in the school, and he's, right, trying, to make friends. he's trying to make friends with the rest of the, uh... 
the pro writers, like Peter Lyon is kind of inclusive, but I mean, Danny Cass, don't you freaking cross his path. We're going by shin rules here, where the teachers are the ones that go around beating up students. <laughs> oh, okay. Versa. Okay, well then, in that case, then I don't... Yeah, I, I guess yeah. I agree with that, but... Yeah, I kind of figured since they were beating you up, it probably wasn't a teacher. By the end of your four years here, you <laughs> should be able to beat me up. Yeah. That would be pretty, pretty yeah. kick-ass. The so, teacher becomes uh, the student. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> you mean the student becomes the teacher? Yeah. Rick well, McCrake I beat you hang... up, so now I'm going to teach this class arithmetic. <laughs> yeah. Rick McCrake hangs his head down low as fourth period ends because he knows next up is gym class. Oh, he gosh. goes to the locker just hoping that he won't get his head slammed in by, uh, by Rio Tahara. And he puts on his shirt and he stumbles out onto the gym where Battalion is already making them do 200 push-ups. And Battalion is shooting them. <laughs> <laughs> and he's shooting at the dodge while doing the push-ups. Yeah. Did that helicopter just crashed behind him and that killed him? Yeah, well... And he just vanished? I don't know. Battalion lives! Have you ever had a helicopter crash right in front of you? There's a lot of uh, forces that will... Uh, it's shrapnel, It's yeah. enough force to make you disappear after you fall over. It will. Right, yeah. You fall over after a second, then you disappear. Alright, yeah. check this out. The ultimate control system is going nuts, so oh. there's actual plot. It's going nuts! Wait. The weather climate system that the bad guys used are, is freaking out, so we have to stop it before it, like, destroys the whole Earth. Oh, okay. of course. So we have to get to Big Core, and that's where the expecting. final level will This be. is a job for Snowboarder Big Joe. Core. Oh. Big core. As opposed right. to, I like, I like to think one of their like their rival companies was Small Core. Yeah. <laughs> and people were like, I don't want to go there. They're small. I want to go to Big Core. Big Core. Yeah. There was just like Core, and then <laughs> someone made like a subdivision called Small Core. <laughs> and then, and they then made Big Core was like, you know, we gotta look better. <laughs> yeah. Be better, so Big Core. Yeah. Large Core. Rotund core. Hardcore. Hardcore. Corpulent. Yeah, you don't want to mess with uh, the hardcore family. Well, you know, that is par for the core. Ah, uh, <laughs> Everyone laugh. This level sucks. That's a very funny, very funny Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking this Evo Snow High School idea, <laughs> so if you guys want to expand on it, not oh, just yes. like you and Matt, but like people in the comments, right. post what you want. I'd love to see that. If he if he hadn't given you his approval, <laughs> no, no, you guys no. would have been so fucked if he tried. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, he, banned he for life. He will disable his fucking comments. Uh, he'll yeah. take down every yeah. video, so you'll never be able Comment to see Comment awaiting approval. Yeah. yeah um, you leave shitty comments, and we'll just ban you from the videos. Yeah. yeah. You just can't watch his videos. I'm this close to closing my account. Yeah, guys. fuck that. He doesn't need this shit from you guys. Yeah, I demand I demand three human sacrifices <laughs> and Damn! other and other offerings or else I Christ! will stop. You guys will never see the end of Evo Wait, uh, oh, Like God. he's gonna have the he's gonna have the last video uploaded on YouTube and he's just gonna keep it as like private and he's like three human sacrifices or else this doesn't go public. Wait, instead it just to clarify for the uh, the people watching these three human sacrifices, is that three human sacrifices from each person who watches, or just three, uh... Oh, total, yeah, that's a yeah, good question. total. Uh, I guess total, because... Why is this such an I <laughs> guess? Like, there's a huge difference between all of the viewers k killing three people each, and three people total. There's a huge no, difference. No, you know what? Sign up for my mailing list, sign up for my fan club, and I'll keep the video unlisted, and I'll send you the link. <laughs> wow. It'll be in the newsletter. Yeah. See, see, we're laughing now, but you know, weekly. another year, this is what actually happens. So. Yeah. <laughs> I demand five million dollars in blood diamonds or I'm not releasing the link to my YouTube video. You know, there's a new payment plan on Patreon that allows you to pay with blood sacrifices. Uh, also, so, you have so support us on Patreon. Um... Don't forget to uh, leave a comment, like, uh, favorite this video, subscribe. It really helps. Oh, yeah. um, and if you want, you know, if you want to see, uh, just, if you want to see more, uh, make sure you send uh, a nice little cash donation of uh, t ten thousand. Right. Financially subscribe. Ten thousand yeah. bitcoins, please. Subscribe. If you yeah, if we, you donate five hundred dollars, you too can be in a Skype call with us. Right. You can for you five can, minutes. You can. Yeah. You yeah. can. That's a tw seventy dollar backers. Uh, backers bonus. Yeah. Um, and you know, then and 50 bucks per minute. <laughs> for, yeah, 50 bucks per, per additional minute. Um, 
But but trust me, it's worth it. It's like, definitely with, uh, worth it. Um, we've got uh, what, what's the word where it's like you get people telling me, like speaking about how great something is. Doesn't start with um, testimonials. Tone. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got commentator testimonials like S- such. Testimonials. Yes, the testimonials. Yeah, I really uh, like financial. I mean, <laughs> I really like financially <laughs> oh, subscribing to Insetic. Because I get to talk. Oh, my time is about up. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna. Mute, that was a testimony. I'm gonna mute that entire section. I'm gonna get like intelligent calcium and like. No, that was me. Okay, well. I mean, that was someone else. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bunch of those people to. That won't happen. Throw us in. Yeah, no, that won't happen. Yeah. Not gonna oh happen. wait, there's a game going on. Calcium, where'd you go? I miss you so. Feels like it's been forever since. Feels like the very first time. That's, that's, not that's the, the song opposite of what he was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, it feels like it feels like the very first time he's in New Mayhem. Alrighty. And so uh, to sum up, this level looked like it sucked. Although it did look less bland than the previous level, so I'll give it credit. I um, thought it looked more bland. Well, it had tanks, and the previous levels didn't have tanks, so none of the levels which have been dark, except for Kowloon Connection, have been good. That's true. Uh, it it overall looked like a pain to play though because of the tanks. But hey, they yeah. Were so nice support touch. us on Patreon. Um, yeah. And uh, also, we if you put in our if you put in Insetic Forty Seven, you'll get a free audiobook through Audible.com. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be of my book. Yeah. Uh, just, the book the, I'm writing right now, The Man Who Would Sixty Nine Himself, yes. is the first in a trilogy. Yeah. Um, but. I'm, yeah, I really go in for one of those, you know, long, epic, thousand-page books detailing an Whoa, entire. Whoa, it's a thousand-page book detailing an also entire in a trilogy. Life. No, it's a, <laughs> well, I mean, other people have done so. The first book in a trilogy is a thousand pages long. Yeah, yeah. Well, other people and it's have... about a man who would sixty-nine. Himself. That's the title. <laughs> well, okay, How, it's, okay it's so about, it's not it's about a, the title. It's about his entire well, life. Looks like the girl with the dragon tattoo. It's not about her yeah. just having a tattoo. No, no, but it's about a girl who has a dragon tattoo. Well, you know, it's exactly. going to be about a guy who does 69 himself. Or would, if you That's could. just going to be like, the first paragraph is that, and then the rest is an epic... No, story. it's his whole life. No, Matt understands. Unless he started 69ing Matt... himself as a child. Uh, oh, yeah, man. I mean, Thank you for watching. The other, maybe you're starting right Fine. in the middle you of the story. What? You know what? You know what? Fluck it. That won't be the audiobook. I'll come up with something else. Okay, if you guys don't want to support me on uh, um, Patreon, Patreon and, and, or that other find it on our website uh, or Fiction Press, Fiction I mean, Press, Fanfiction.net, uh, Fanfiction.net, guys. I mean, I could send you my three million word Naruto fanfic if you want. Pa- please do. Except Bitcoin. Yeah. I mean, I've worked really hard on that. I mean, I really go into the gripping character details. Okay, don't actually do that. that. Everyone wants. Nobody wants to hear that. I'm gonna chop my dick off. <laughs>